Did you know that squeezing a crystal can generate an electric current? And if you run electricity through a crystal, you can make it vibrate or change its shape? It's called piezoelectricity. Crystal, ceramic, and even bone can exhibit this phenomenon. And it's one of the underlying principles behind this, a single-axis gyro. This little gadget's revolutionized RC helicopters. Because of it, small, inexpensive helicopters can detect unwanted spinning and correct for it without the pilot even noticing. Now, when we think of gyros, we usually think about big, heavy spinning objects like bicycle wheels or tops. As long as they keep spinning on one axis fast enough, they don't want to fall over. This is a great example of one of Newton's most famous laws. A body in motion stays in motion unless it's acted upon by an external force. But this same principle can be applied to other moving structures as well, not just spinning bodies. For example, flying insects use flapping wing-like structures called halters as gyroscopes. The halters vibrate up and down really fast, and when the insect is disturbed in flight, the halters try to keep flapping up and down in the same plane. The insect senses this and corrects for it. Well, these single-axis gyros use the same basic principle. They have a set of microscopic wings that are vibrated back and forth with a piezoelectric current. When the gyro is spun, the wings want to keep vibrating up and down in the same direction. This causes them to put pressure on the piezoelectric components, which sends an electrical signal to the computer so that it can correct for the unwanted motion. These types of devices are called MEMS, or Microelectromechanical Systems, and they've revolutionized our world. They can be inexpensively printed in factories just like microchips, and they found their way into thousands of RC helicopters, smartphones, and other electronics over the past few years. These little gyros are one of my favorite examples of MEMS technology, and we hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about them with us today. Subscribe and stay tuned for more science and stuff with the Taoist Flyer.